This is a story about a girl who became a princess despite all the obstacles. Cinderella is in a new Lalalu video. Watch LOL DIYs and create with us. This baby got lucky. She'll be performing the leading role today. First off, let's change the body and sew a nightgown. Make a cutout on blue fabric and take measurements. Trace the doll and cut out the needed silhouette. Pass a thread and sew the sides of the nightgown, leaving a hole for the head and sleeves. The nightgown is almost done. We just have to decorate it. Attach the bow using tweezers and hot glue. We made a cute nightgown. Don't forget to decorate the braids too. Tie a blue thread around and attach a bow to each braid. Make a wish, so Cinderella only has nice dreams in this nightgown. And she falls asleep in her bed. But some annoying noise wakes her up in the morning. So that's what it is! These are birds singing! My friends are tweeting! I only see one! Where are the rest? Huh, here they are! Can you help me get ready faster? Meanwhile, pigeons bring her shoes in their beaks. They help to hang the nightgown with the mouse. And they are flying with Cinderella's home dress. Thanks! What would I do without you? Let's DIY a casual home look for Cinderella. Everything, come here! Brown fabric and the lighter one. Blue tulle will come in handy for sleeves. Cut off the needed length. Make a skirt from lighter fabric. Gather a strip with a stitch and tie it on the waist. Cut an apron from a wide satin ribbon. Leave long straps. The apron is already torn from doing a lot of housework. But even humble clothes can't hide Cinderella's beauty. <laughs> Decorate the outfit with a white bow. Cinderella hides her hair under a kerchief so it's put up. I need to get ready fast! One shoe, the other! Lady Tremaine must be waiting for her tea! For the latter, we use pattern paper. Pick out the color and get to DIYing! This ladder can handle anything! Cinderella is preparing a tray with cups, a teapot, and sugar. Once she's done, she goes to wake up her stepmother. And Lady Tremaine didn't even think about waking up if it wasn't for the cat purring. Mother, wake up! I brought you tea! Put it down and get out of here, you lazy bones! Can you at least fill a cup without spilling anything? You have a ton of housework today! Cinderella would love to have a sip of it too, but she doesn't have any time for it. Her stepsisters are waiting for her downstairs. Take all our clothes and do laundry! And then clean! Cinderella is trying to clean as fast as possible without missing a speck of dust. And the cat scattered food all around! Huh, there's no way I'll relax anytime soon! <sighs> We'll make the stepmother from this doll. We can change the hair. Get rid of the hair remains. Wipe off makeup with nail polish remover and create a new face. We'll need green, red, black, yellow, and white paints. First off, sketch out eyes with white. Add black pupils and trace the eyelids. Make the eyes green. Add raised eyebrows. Add eyeshadow and dark lipstick. We just need to come up with a hairstyle. Shape light clay. Let it harden and paint it a brownish cherry. Add texture with white. Cut a strip from pink foam paper and make a wavy edge and you get a collar. We make the dress from brown fabric. Separately glue the main piece 
and add two sleeves. <laughs> Attach a few pockets on the sides. Lady Tremaine only needs accessories. Make emerald earrings and a necklace from sequins. And DIY a stick from a wooden skewer. Cut off the needed length and paint it black. The outfit is complete and the stepmother is already plotting something. <laughs> While she's playing a piano, her daughters are listening and dancing. Today, we are going to a ball at the prince's castle. The rumor has it he's looking for a wife. Finally, Cinderella should get our dresses ready. She has so much work to do, she's not coming with us for sure. Moreover, she doesn't have a dress. <laughs> we'll turn this blonde doll into a fairy godmother. Hide the legs and get down to the dress. Heat the edges of a wide satin ribbon with a lighter. Hot glue the ends of the piece. Make a cape with a hood from the same ribbon. First off, cut out the part the fairy will put her arms in. Wrap the ribbon in half, glue, and cut out a hood. Marvelous! Let's decorate it with a satin ribbon. And there's a magic wand made from a toothpick in her hand. The fairy's outfit is done, so she's ready to fly up to help out Cinderella. Let's conjure up a gown for Cinderella. We start with the top. Wrap an elastic ribbon around the doll. We sew a fluffy skirt from a wide satin ribbon by gathering the edge with a stitch. Add gloves with blue acrylic paint right on the arms. The last try on, and we can glue the joint. Decorate the hair with a blue ribbon headband. The most important thing, shoes! Add a black thread as a choker, and Cinderella is ready for the ball. This beauty can win the heart of the prince. The stepmother gave her stepdaughter so much work that she doesn't even have time to redo her old dress. But birds and mice help Cinderella make a great gown. <laughs> There's very little time left. Lady Tremaine is checking if her daughters are ready. Cinderella made dresses for you, Drizilla, Anastasia. Put the outfits on, cover up, and get dressed. The coach is waiting. The sisters almost got into a fight over the dresses, but they were perfect, so they fit each sister. Haha! <laughs> Cinderella didn't even finish laundry! But she is already downstairs. I'm done! And I have a fancy gown, too! Can I go with you now? You wish! Now you don't have a dress! The sisters tore it and went with the stepmom leaving Cinderella in tears. The girl ran away to the garden and all of a sudden, a fairy godmother appeared as if by magic. What's wrong, my dear? Stop crying, you can still go to the ball. But I don't have anything. I'll take care of that. And pumpkins turn into a coach thanks to the magic wand. A mouse became a white horse. Oh well, I almost forgot, a dress. Oh, Godmother, I'm so grateful. But remember, when the clock strikes midnight, the magic will disappear. I won't forget it, said the girl and her coach drove to the palace. When Cinderella came, her stepmother and stepsisters were already there. They couldn't take their eyes off the new girl. The prince doesn't leave her alone. Once he saw Cinderella, he fell head over heels in love with her. The feeling was mutual. They were together the whole evening. But the prince didn't manage to ask her name when they were walking in a garden. They were dancing another waltz when the clock started striking midnight. Mysterious stranger started running and left a crystal shoe on the stairs. The prince ran out, but it was too late. He grabbed the shoe and ran to Cinderella's coach, but it already disappeared. And in a few minutes, the coach became a pumpkin again. The horse turned into a mouse and the dress into rags. 
<laughs> I'll issue an order and every single girl in the kingdom will have to try on this shoe. And whoever it fits will be my wife, said the prince. He mounted a horse and went to the kingdom. Lady Tremaine finds out that the mysterious stranger at the ball was Cinderella and she locks her in the attic. While the evil stepmother was carelessly drinking tea, a mouse snuck in and stole the key. It ran to Cinderella's room. Yay! The door is open! The girl says thank you to the mouse and quickly goes downstairs. <gasps> when she puts on the shoe, everything became crystal clear. The stepmother and stepsisters were left high and dry. Cinderella and the prince got married and lived happily ever after. The good one! Hit the thumbs up if you liked our magical fairy tale. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any new videos on Lalaloo.